This is a story called Promise is a Promise. It is about imaginary monsters that live underneath the ice in Hudson's Bay. The monsters are called Qualipiluit. When children come too close to a crack in the ice, the Qualipiluit are supposed to come out, grab the children, and pull them underneath the ice into the ocean. Since people around Hudson's Bay spend a lot of time out on the sea ice, the scary Qualipiluit is supposed to frighten children so they don't go near the cracks in the ice. The cracks in the ice are very, very dangerous, especially since sometimes where the ice is cracked, if you just go near, the ice can flip and pull you right down into the ocean. Here's the story. On the very first day of spring, Alasha was said, I'm going to go fishing. I'm going to go fishing in the ocean. I'm going to go fishing in the cracks in the ice. Ah, ah, said her mother. Don't go fishing on the sea ice. Under the sea ice live Qualipiluat. They grab children who aren't with their parents. Don't go fishing in the ocean. Go fish in the lake. Right, said Elashua. I will go fishing in the lake and not in the ocean, and a promise is a promise. So Elashua set out like she was going to go to the lake near her house. But when she got to the end of the street, she didn't go to the lake. She walked down the long, snowy path that led to the ocean. At the edge of the ocean were large cracks where the tide broke and jumbled the ice. Elashua looked very carefully and didn't see any Qualipiluit. She said, on TV I have seen Santa Claus, fairy godmothers, and the tooth fairy, but never any Qualipiluit. I think my mother is wrong. But just in case her mother was right, Elashua stood beside the sea ice and yelled, Qualipiluit have dirty noses! Nothing happened. Elashua yelled, Qualipiluit smell like a dead whale in the summer! Nothing happened. Elashua walked right out onto the sea ice and yelled as loud as she could, Qualipiluit, Qualipiluit can't catch me! Nothing happened. The only thing Elashua heard was the sound of snow blowing over the ice. So Elashua got her line and her hook. She walked over to a large crack in the ice and started to fish. Right away a fish grabbed the hook and Elashua pulled it up. She caught six fish in a row. Elashua yelled, I'm the best fisherman in the world! And from behind her, something said with a voice that sounded like snow blowing over the ice, The best you may be, but the smartest you are not. Elashua turned around, and there between her and the shore were the Qualipiluit. They looked at her and said, Have you seen the child who said Qualipiluit have dirty noses? No, no, Qualipiluit, said Elashua. I, I have seen no such child, and besides, your noses are very pretty. Have you seen the child who said we smell like a dead whale in the summertime? No, no, Qualipiluit, said Lashua. I, I have seen no such child, and besides, you, you smell very nice, just like flowers in the summer. Have you seen the child, who yelled, Qualipiluit, Qualipiluit, can't catch me? Oh, no, Qualipiluit, I've seen no such child, and besides, my mother says that you catch whatever you want to. Right. And what we want to catch right now is you. One grabbed Elashua by her feet and dragged her down, down under the sea ice to where the Qualipiluit live. The water stung Elashua's face like fire. Elashua held her breath, and the Qualipiluit gathered around her and sang with voices that sounded like snow blowing over the ice. Human child, human child, ours to have ours to hold forget your mother forget your brother ours to hold under the ice Elashua let out her breath and yelled my brothers and sisters my brothers and sisters I'll bring them all to the sea ice for a moment nothing happened and then the Qualipiluit threw Elashua up out of the sea onto the cold wind of the ice and said, A promise is a promise. Bring your brothers and sisters to the sea ice and we will let you go. 
Alashwa began to run up the long, snow-covered path that led to her home, and as she ran, her clothes started to freeze. She ran more and more slowly until she fell to the ground, and that is where Alashua's father found her, almost at the back door, frozen to the snow. Alashua's father gave a great yell, picked up Alashua, and carried her inside. He tore off Alashua's icy clothes and put her to bed. Then the mother and father got under the covers and hugged Alashua till she got warm. After an hour, Alashua asked for some hot tea. She drank ten cups of hot tea with lots of sugar, then said, I went to the cracks and the sea ice. Ah, ah, said her family. Not so smart. I called the Qualipili with nasty names. Ah, ah, said her family. Dumber still. I promised to take my brothers and sisters to the cracks and the sea ice. I promised to take them all to the Qualipili with. Ah, ah, said her family. A promise is a promise. Then her father and mother made some tea, and they sat and drank it and didn't say anything for a long time. From far down the long snow-covered path that led to the sea, the quality Piliwit began calling, A promise is a promise! A promise is a promise! A promise is a promise! The mother looked at her children and said, I have an idea. Do exactly as I say. When I start dancing, all of you follow Alasha to the cracks on the sea ice. And the children all whispered to each other, Ah, oh, oh, why will our mother dance? This is not a happy time. Alasha's mother went out the back door and yelled, Kuala Piliwit, Kuala Piliwit, come and talk with me. And they did come right up out of the cracks in the sea ice, up the long snow-covered path to the sea they came, and stood by the back door. It was a most strange thing, for never before had the Kuala Piliwit left the ocean. The mother and father cried and yelled and asked for their children back, but the Kuala Piliwit said, A promise is a promise. The father and mother begged and pleaded and asked for their children back, but the Kuala Piliwit said, A promise is a promise. Finally, Alashua's mother said, Kuala Piliwit, you have hearts of ice. But a promise is a promise. Come and join us while we say goodbye to our children. Everyone went inside. First, the mother gave her children some bread. Then she said to the Kuala Piliwit, This is not for you. But the Kuala Piliwit said, We want some too. The mother gave the Kuala Piliwit some bread and they liked it a lot. Then the mother gave each of her children a piece of candy. She said to the Kuala Piliwit, This is not for you. But the Kuala Piliwit said, We want some too. The mother gave the Kuala Piliwit some candy, and they liked it a lot. Then the father started to dance. He said to the Kuala Piliwit, This is not for you. The Kuala Piliwit said, We have never danced. We want to dance. And they all started to dance. First they danced slowly, and then they danced fast, and then they started to jump and yell and scream and dance a wild dance. The Kuala Piliwit liked dancing so much they forgot about the children. Finally, the mother started to dance, and when the children saw their mother dancing, they crawled out the back door and ran down the long, snowy path that led to the sea. They came to the cracks in the sea ice, and Alashua whispered, Qualipiliwit, Qualipiliwit, here we are. Nothing happened. Then all the children said, Qualipiliwit, Qualipiliwit, here we are. Nothing happened. Then the children yelled as loud as they could, Kuala Piliwit, Kuala Piliwit, here we are. Nothing happened, and they all went back to the land and sat on a large rock by the beach. Two minutes later, the Kuala Piliwit ran screaming down the path and jumped into their cracks in the ice. Elisha was stood up on the rock and said, A promise is what you were given, and a promise is what you got. I brought my brothers and sisters to the sea ice, and you were not here. A promise is a promise. The Kuala Piliwit yelled and screamed and pounded the ice till it broke. They begged and pleaded and asked to have the children. But Alashua said, A promise is a promise. Then the Kuala Piliwit jumped down to the bottom of the sea, took their cracks with them, and the whole ocean of ice became perfectly smooth. Then the mother and father came walking down the long snowy path to the ocean. They hugged and kissed each one of their children, even Alashua. The father looked at the flat ocean and said, We will go fishing here, for Kuala Piliwit have promised never to catch children with their parents, and a promise is a promise. Then they all did go fishing, quite happily, except for Alashua. 
She had been too close to the Qualipiliwit and could still hear them singing with voices that sounded like blowing snow. Human child, human child, ours to have, ours to hold. Forget your mother, forget your brother, ours to hold under the ice.